Hi, how are you? Oh, I am great. How is the weather over there today? It's been very hot, but today it's a bit cooler, which is nice. <laughs> oh, great. Can you tell me where over there is? Yeah, sure. Obviously, I am in Liverpool in England. Oh, wow. That is such a magical sounding place. It must be so beautiful. It is lovely. We've got a lovely green city with lots of parks. And of course, we've got the river going down to the sea. So yes, we get lots of seagulls and lots of birds. It's great. Oh, yes. Speaking of birds and seagulls, we know you are the author of many great books. You have some behind you there. Oh, I see one of our favorites. Yes, it's that one. It's called That's Our Home. Oh, it's such a great book. Oh, I love it. I love all the characters in your book. It is so great. Before we get into your books, can you tell me or us one fun fact about you? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I guess my fun fact is because I am from Liverpool and my surname is Lennon, lots of people always ask me if I am related to John Lennon from the Beatles. And about five years ago, we found out that yes, we are. So my dad's grandfather and John Lennon's grandfather were brothers. So there we go. So that's oh. my fun fact. Oh my goodness, that is a fabulous fun fact. Oh, thank you for sharing, that was great. Oh, wonderful. Can you tell us about your wonderful book that's behind you there? Oh, that's our home? I certainly can. So it's got our characters, Seagull, Crab and Starfish, and they live on a beautiful beach like the one behind you. And very sadly, they go out one day and the beach is covered in rubbish and plastic bottles. And I know, I know, it makes them really, really sad. And so they set out to tell everybody to pick up their rubbish and take it home and to keep the beaches nice and clean and green for everybody to enjoy. So it's an eco book. Oh yes, this is a great message for sure because our beaches can get so dirty. People will leave their trash behind. They forget to put it in the trash cans. Oh, I don't know what happens. And then it gets into the water. Oh, the poor creatures. Can you read a few pages from your book? I certainly can. Here we go. So, would you like to see the pictures as well? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Okay. So, I'll read you the first bit. Starfish, crab and seagull live on a gorgeous beach. With golden sand and waves of blue, its name is Puffin's Reach. It used to be so lovely, now there's rubbish on the sand. There's plastic in the water that's been dropped by human hand. Seagull has a great idea. Come on, Seagull, give you a great idea. A message they can share with everybody on the beach. They'll say it with great flair. This is the bit we like everyone to join in with. Don't do that. That's our home. You're just not being green. Use the bin or take it home. Keep the beaches clean. Please. Oh, yes. I love that part of the book. That is my favorite. And even after reading this story, I found myself saying those words. Oh, oh it really works. It really sticks. Such a beautiful book. Thank and you. <laughs> your illustrations are adorable. Who illustrated your book? Yes, the illustrations are by Lisa Williams. She's a very talented lady. And um, I just sent the story to her and then all these wonderful ideas, what the characters should look like came out. And it was, yes, she's really, really good at what she does. <laughs> oh, yes, and the characters are so cute. I love how you have little critters back there behind you, too, that match. Now, where can our viewers find out more about you and your books? Yes, they can find out more about me on my website, which is littlelambpublishing.co.uk. And everything is on there, all the things that I do, my storytelling, my books. I've even written some books for grown-ups as well, so they are on there too. I know, very exciting. And so everything is on there, and also on Facebook and Twitter. So Facebook, I am Jude Lennon Author, and Twitter and Instagram, Jude Lennon Books. Oh, this is fabulous. Thank you. And you know, we have kiddos out there watching, and I think this 
would be the perfect book for them. Could you tell me? Now, some little kids get inspired by listening to authors speak. What would you say to a little kiddo out there that wants to write their own book? Oh, well, it's a wonderful thing to do to write your own stories. I think what I would say is let the ideas just come. And even if you think, oh, that's not a very good idea, write it down anyway, because you never know. You might go back to it a day or two later and think, it might not be the best idea, but I can change it and make it better. So never give up. Always just keep writing all your ideas down. And the other thing to do is to read, 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 read lots and lots and lots of books, because the more books you read, the more words you learn and the more you understand how stories work. Yes, oh, that is some great advice. I have never thought of that. So reading more books will help you write your own book. Is that correct? That's right, they certainly will. They help you to understand about stories and characters and settings and how to make a story flow. So they're really important. And they're oh, fun. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Jude. We had so much fun with you today. And I think your book is so wonderful. I highly recommend it. Thank you. Yes, okay. It was nice chatting with you. Thank you for your time. You too. Thank you so much. Goodbye.